So this will answer the question of how you transition from nursing leadership to executive leadership. Really what I'm talking about is that nursing has a hierarchy and the hierarchy usually starts with being an RN on a floor or maybe even before that, a patient care technician. But you start as an RN, then you work your way into a charge nurse, then charge nurse into a nursing management role of some sort. Maybe it's an assistant manager or manager, but then there's a long journey from there to nursing director and then even a longer journey from nursing director to some senior level nursing executive leadership role. And ultimately the goal is, is to be a chief nursing officer. But I will tell you that that pathway is shorter than where it needs to be. And the reason why I say that, the American healthcare system is in a crisis. It's in a crisis of epic proportions. I mean, when I say epic proportions, let me give you this stat. More than 500,000 RNs, and that's registered nurses, will leave the bedside in 2022, and they will not come back. That's going to accelerate a nursing shortage that we've known about for the last decade by 20 years. It's going to accelerate it by 20 years. So when we thought we had until 2050 in some places, we're going to have a nursing shortage in the next three years which means we got to find a way to redirect that outward flow of highly qualified, well-skilled, and powerfully impactful nurses back into the profession. And the only person who can do that is nursing leaders. But they're not going to be able to do that from the position of just being a nursing director or a nursing administrator of some sort, or even a chief nursing officer. The only way you're going to do that is for you to be the CEO of a hospital. If we don't find a way to get more nursing leadership into executive leadership roles, this crisis will continue to exacerbate and we will reach a breaking point in the American healthcare system where we won't have the people that we need to take care of the people that we need. It's a huge challenge, one that I'm very afraid of as my parents continue to age and as I continue to age. Most people don't realize that if you go to a doctor or a hospital, you're going to spend the vast majority of your time talking to a nurse or someone in the nursing field. So we got to find a way to get people there or otherwise, who's going to be there for the patients the way they've been there for the patients. That means you got to get from being in nursing leadership to executive leadership. And why is this important? Executive leaders in hospitals control everything. They control the purse strings. They control the vision. They control the values. They can control the direction of the organization. And we need more nursing leaders to control that direction. But they can't control it from a director's role. They can't control it from a CNO's role. They can influence it, but they can't control it. So you got to get to the big chair. So let me give you three fundamental ways that I think it will help you to move from nursing leadership to executive leadership. You need to get an advanced degree outside of nursing. It's great to have an RN license. It's great to be a BSN. It's great to have a master's in nursing science. It's great to have a doctor of nursing practice or even a PhD in nursing. But what you need to have is a degree in business or that is ultimately tied into leadership. So it doesn't have to be an MBA, but it can be any other kind of degree that will tap you into focusing on how to be a better leader. So that's the first thing. The second thing that I will tell you is you need to get formal leadership development training. Sign up for some courses, take some classes, get an executive coach, find someone who can teach you how to be a CEO, that can teach you how to be an executive, that can show you what executives need to think about. 
not discounting your clinical skills, not discounting the empathy and the great role that you have, because that's critical to being a CEO, but you really need to see all aspects of leadership. And many times you won't see all of those aspects just by looking in the nursing chain. So that's the second thing. The third thing that you need to do, and this is probably should have been the first thing or the most important thing, you need to develop the mindset that you deserve to be the CEO. You need to develop the mindset that you are the best equipped, best prepared, best positioned, and the most inspiring person to be the CEO. That needs to be you. But you won't get there if you don't believe that you deserve to be there. See, your mindset is more important than your skill set. You can have the right degree, the right training, the right experience, but if you don't have the right mindset, you won't be there. So I encourage you to look at antongun.com, see the free resources and the premium resources that I have available for you to develop the right mindset and the right skill set for you to move from nursing leadership to executive leadership. And you can help us stop the challenge that we're having in nursing and in the American healthcare system. It's up to you. And we need you to take care of it now. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.